Willing the Clock Mechanism. These arrows are examples of points where you want to place a drop of oil. It's always a good idea to blot excess oil. You don't want the oil to be running down the chassis of the clock or into the clock wood or just puddling and drying out on this chassis surface. Also it's a good idea to use a synthetic oil because synthetic oil won't dry out like other oils will. So now I've just been oiling with this uh, oiler some of the smaller points, the smaller, um, well, just the clock mechanism here. Like you see, wherever there is a pin, which is basically just a, an axle or a gear pin that leads to a rotating or spinning part. I'm dropping, I'm just putting a dab of, and then uh, going back with a tissue and uh, this screwdriver and just kind of blotting it up because I don't want a big bunch of oil in there to uh, collect dust and cause more problems than it's than it's worth oiling it if you if you have too much excess. So I'm just kind of blotting off the excess. And hopefully, you know, I tried to be really careful, but it seemed to be coming out of the end, <laughs> the end of that oiler pretty pretty good. Uh, there is something that you can do instead. Uh, and that is to use a toothpick. Put a little dab of oil on the end of the toothpick and then that toothpick in there and that'll um, that'll do pretty good there. Okay, so now around this little hammer and the, the cuckoo uh, rods yeah there is a, I, I oiled the uh, mechanism right there where it connects to the to the chassis but uh, that is probably where there's a lot of excess oil there. So because it really wasn't, it was difficult to get into, and also that there is uh, it had to put the oil so it would go up underneath the rod. Call them whatever the these rods are attached to. Anyway, so I've got the oil in there. I've oiled. Uh, I think just about everything. I'm gonna put a dab right there, and I'm I'm gonna oil now the dancer. I don't want to necessarily oil the gears, I want to oil the pins, the gear pins. And I'm using a flashlight to uh, facilitate that. And that's difficult to do. So block the excess oil off. One more in the front. 
front that I don't think I can access. Um, and I'll try in a little bit. All right, then we have the music box. Foiling the music box mechanism. These arrows are example areas where you want to make sure you oil. Oil all the gear, the gear shafts and pins, rotating parts, etc. there. Get all that off. The uh, but I gotta be able to get deep in here. Just the cuckoo rod. Take it off for now. to be a moving part. Uh oh, you don't want any tissue in there. So, uh, spring doesn't, oops. Okay. just lost a spring. Well, that thing just disappeared fast. Where did it go? I mean, I didn't even hear it or see it. Just happen to know because it was I was staring right at it when it disappeared. All right, let me look for that. This reference photo shows the spring location in the music box. I guess I bumped it with my finger a little too hard, and the end of it came off. 
I eventually found the spring and replaced 